Chris here and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you my TBR for phase six of the phase out your TBR readathon. If you don't know what this is, this is a readathon that I have created that is loosely based on my TBR game and the game phase 10. I'll link the announcement video for this round in the cards above if you would like more information. So in today's video, I'm going to work on completing phase six. So we're going to pull some cards, see what the prompts are and see what my options are for phase six. Phase six is a run of nine. So I need to get nine cards in consecutive order and hopefully the cards will be kind to me. The TBR I'm working on phasing out is my physical TBR. In a pinch, I will use an ebook if I don't have anything on my physical TBR, but it's mostly about getting through my physical TBR. So let's see what the game has in store for me. First card, a red nine. Probably going to need that in a run of nine. So the prompt for Red Nine is Book You've Been Avoiding. And for this, I'm going to go with The Shadows by Alex North. Um, this was a book of the month pick from July of 2020. So obviously, I've been avoiding it for several years, mainly because I don't know if I'm going to like it. I think it's a bit of a spooky thriller, but I'm not sure. It says they believed they can control their dreams. Instead, they created a nightmare. So yes, it sounds like a spooky thriller. I don't know if it's going to be for me, so I've kind of been avoiding it. So I guess now is the time to give it a try. And honestly, we're headed into spooky season, so it's probably the perfect time of year to try it anyway. So this is the first book that is almost definitely going to be needed to complete my phase for phase six. Our second card is a wild. So I will do something else with this wild at some point. But I'm I'm not going to pick a number four yet. We're just going to stick it over here because it can be anything I want it to be. So I think right now we're going to hold on to it. And we're going to see where I need it to fill in later in the game. But I have my die here because I will be rolling some extra books at the end. And using those kind of as my pile of possibilities for when I play phase time. So next up we have a blue two. The prompt for blue two is newest purchase. And the newest purchase that I can actually read, i.e. it's not part of a series that I'm not up to date in, is The Train of Dark Wonders by Alex Bell. And the reason I picked this is because one of the blurbs on the front says darkly delectable, which makes me think it might be spooky. There's some pumpkins on the back, again, spooky. There's another blurb that says a story to be savored as much as any Halloween treat, sharp and fizzing with a warm, sweet center. And another one, magical, mysterious, and a little bit creepy too. I had two I could have chosen from because I got them on the same day. So um, this one just sounded like it was going to be more the vibes of fall. So we're going to go with this one. And uh, hopefully I'll love it. Our next poll is a yellow nine and I no longer need nine so you're definitely going over here for the record when I don't need a card for my phase I put it over here and these cards will be a pile of possibilities and I will try to get to all of them in the month of September but the only ones I need to finish my phase are these ones now if you were playing along you could swap these out if you'd prefer this book but I try to do it with whatever cards I pull first for that phase the prompt for yellow nine is multiple POVs and for this, I'm going to read The Brothers Hawthorne. This is the fourth book in the Inheritance Games series. And there are definitely more than one POV I checked. I have been meaning to get back to this. I literally just got like the fifth book, which is also like a second arc kind of thing. So uh, I, I've had this for over a year. It was released this time last year. I think it's about time I get to it. So we're going to dive into this one for multiple POVs. Next, a blue seven works. We're definitely probably going to need one of those. So blue seven is favorite color on the cover. And I'm going to go with Catalyst by Sarah Beth Durst. There is a lot of different shades of purple on this cover and purple is my favorite color. And we're going to be following a cat named Pip Squeak, who is named such because they were so tiny, but then they grew and grew and grew. And now she's bigger than a horse. And Zoe 
who named the cat, and her friend Harrison are going to have to find a way to keep her hidden until they can find a way to return her to her normal size. So this is going to be my book for favorite color on the cover. Next, a red three. This is looking good so far. So red three is nature on the cover, and I'm going to read Thief Knot by Kate Milford. This is the fourth book in the Green Glass House series. There is some trees on the cover. This could also work really well for air on the cover now that I look at it, because you have all of the wind and like a uh, wind vane, weather vane thing. But I'm going for nature on the cover because there are trees on this. Like I said, fourth book in the Green Glass House series. I've been working my way through the series and I'm finally a book four. Never read it before and I'm hoping that I love it and I'm very excited to get to it in the month of September. Then <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of extra books, but my phase is filling in nicely. We're gonna go with ooh, uh, a green six. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I would need to fill in the four, the five, the eight, and then get a one or a 10. Well, I need some combination of a four, five, eight, and 10. So I need two cards because if I get those, then I can use these to complete my face. So we're going to go with our green six right now though. So green six is start a series and I was really hoping to avoid that particular prompt this month. However, I did not manage that. So I'm going to read a study in Charlotte. So we're following Jamie Watson, who's on a rugby scholarship an hour away from his estranged father. But that's not the only complication because the scholarship is also going to bring him to the town that is home to Charlotte Holmes, the famous detective's great, great, great granddaughter, who has inherited not only Sherlock's genius, but also his violet temperament. And it looks like... Um, a student is going to die, and it's ripped straight from the most terrifying of the Sherlock Holmes stories. And Jamie and Charlotte are going to be framed for murder. So this is obviously a Sherlock Holmes retelling with a bit of a twist, sort of. And I'm curious to see how this mystery plays out. And who is framing Jamie and Charlotte? Okay, let's see if we can fill in some of those gaps. We have indeed. So I get a four, an eight, or a one or a 10, and I get to finish with my phase. And then I can just roll for my wild, which would be awesome. So I do need to look up my blue five though. So blue five is low hopes, and I'm going with the Starlet Loom. This is the fourth book in the Keeper series, and this series has gone downhill for me. I don't have a lot of high hopes that I'm going to love this. I think it's going to be a pretty average three-star book, if that. So I'm definitely going into this expecting not to love it. And I liked the first book, but it's kind of, for me, gone downhill since then. So we're going to at least wrap it up and see how it ends since I do own book four. And I can officially, with this book, check a series and one of my owned books off of my TBR. So might as well stick it on here. Then we're hoping for a one, a four, an eight. Oh no, yeah, an eight or 10. And there's my eight. Okay. So we're just gonna shift you down. And there is my eight. So let's deal with that first. So red eight is standalone. And for this, I'm gonna read The Metropolitans. It says four kids, four nights. And that's nights with a K. Four Days to Stop a World War. A powerful book, an extraordinary adventure. We have Nazi spies, King Arthur. Interesting. So I believe this is like a historical fiction mystery fantasy, and it is a standalone. And I felt it calling to me for this particular prompt, so I guess now's my time to read it. Okay, well, I absolutely need a four. So let's see what my options are for a four. We have red four is pretty cover. Green four is even page number. Blue four is middle grade and yellow four is big book. Well, I'm not going with a yellow four. I'm going to go with a green four and read 
Lockwood and Co. The Hollow Boy. This one's on page 420, so even page number. This is the third book in the Lockwood and Co. series. It is kind of that spooky vibe I'm going for, getting ready to go into fall and spooky season. So I think this is the perfect book to stick on my TBR. I have just recently reread the first two books in anticipation for trying to finish the series, and I'm very excited to dive into book three. So this is going to be one of the books I need to get to to complete my phase. And I'm going to go with... I'm just going to move this oops, down here so that we know that's a four. Hmm. I'm going to go with a ten. I don't know what color yet. I'm not looking at the prompts. But I think I'm going to go with a ten. So my options for tens... Our red 10, I could do highest rated. Green 10 would be set outside your country. Blue 10 would be water on the cover. And yellow 10 would be author you love. So I went with a yellow 10. And I'm going to do author you love. And to nobody's surprise, I'm now holding up, say it with me, Aaron Hunter. This is Tales from the Pack, which includes Alpha's Tale, Sweet's Journey, and Moon's Choice. These are little novellas from the Survivor series. It's the only book in the Survivor series I haven't read. I've read both of the main arcs, so I think this is the perfect time to read Tales from the Pack. You absolutely don't need to do this if you're playing along and you're filming your TBR, but I like to roll um, for some extra prompts for my wilds as kind of a bit of a, a punishment, but it also gives me another possibility pile. It makes it more likely I'm going to get to more books off of my TBR. So for our first wild... I have rolled a five, so this is Low Hopes. I remember that one. This was easy because while I was looking for books, I noticed this one. And with Low Hopes coming up again, I'm going with Lock Every Door. So I have a up and down relationship with Riley Sager, which I feel is par for the course for pretty much anybody who reads Riley Sager books. I don't know anything about this one. I don't like to know anything about my thrillers really going into them, so... We're going to go into this blind and see if it interests me in any way, shape, or form. Fingers crossed. So the second is a green 11. So green 11 is YA. And I'm going to be honest, this is one of the hardest prompts for me to fulfill because almost all of my books are either middle grade or adult. And I always struggle to remember which ones are YA because I only have a handful of them at this point. But according to Goodreads, this one is indeed YA, and it fits with the spooky vibes. So we're going to give uh, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children a try. Um, I don't know that I'm going to love this, but I've heard good things about it, and, and we're, we're going to see. We're going to see if this book clicks with me and if I end up enjoying it, because I have, I think, like three books in the series on my TBR. So, I don't know. We're going to give it a go, and either I will want to continue on with the series, and it'll give me those spooky vibes I'm looking for, or it'll tell me I need to unhaul them. So it's not the worst book in the world for me to give a try to. Next is a Red 2. So Red 2 is Disability or Mental Health Rep, and I'm going to go with Roll With It by Jamie Sumner. As you can see, our main character is in a wheelchair which would be my disability wrap. I don't know anything else about that, although I do think it has something to do with baking, if memory serves, because she is holding a pie. So we're going to see how this one goes. Um, it sounded really, really interesting. I actually own the first two books, so hopefully I love this and can continue on with the series. Next, we have a green four. So, like I said, green four is even page number, and I'm going to read Lola Banco Treasure Hunter at the Midnight Market. This is the second book in this series, and... This clocks in at 296 pages. I just recently read the first book and thought it was a fine start to a little mystery series. Since I own book two and book two is the most recent book in the series, I say I pick this one up and give it a try and kind of catch up on the series. Perfect. And the fifth card for this wild is a skip. I just get to skip it. I don't have to pick anything. So we're going to make that this wild and we're going to put this down here. And we'll roll for the second wild and we get, ooh, perfect. A one, a blue nine, 
and the prompt for Blue Nine in the last book on my pile of possibilities for the month of September is by Pockrep, and I'm going to read Time to Party, The Dungeon Club. There are several characters here who I think qualify for that. Um, she definitely does. You find a picture of her where she's not bathed in funky light. So we definitely have some BIPOC characters in this series. This is the second book in the Dungeon Club series. Uh, I adored book one so much that I almost finished it and started it over and then immediately went to pre-order book two. So this is one of my most anticipated sequels of the year. Cannot wait to dive back into this series and there is zero way this doesn't get read. So perfect. So here are the books I need to complete for my phase. I have The Train of Wonders for Blue 2, which is newest purchase. I have The Thief Knot for Red 3, which is uh, nature on the cover. I have My Wild, which is a green 4, and that is even page number, and I'm going to read The Hollow Boy. I have a blue 5, and I'm reading The Starlit Loom for this, which is Low Hopes. My green 6 is to start a series, and I'm going to read A Study in Charlotte. My blue seven is favorite color on the cover, and that's purple, so I'm going to read Catalyst. My red eight is standalone, so I'm going to read The Metropolis. My red nine is book I've been avoiding, and I'm going to read The Shadows. And my wild, which represents a yellow ten, is author you love, and I'm going to read Survivor's Tales from the Pack. And then I have this very small pile of possibilities with... Um, Low Hopes, BIPOC Rep, Multiple POVs, Even Page Number, Disability, or Mental Health Rep, and YA. Not a bad month, if I do say so myself. This worked out incredibly well. Fingers crossed that I can get through my phase and all of my extras and take a giant chunk of books off of my TBR. Again, if you'd like to take part, I would love to have you. The link for the Discord is in the description below where you can share your TBR and chat about how you're doing throughout the month. It is also where I will let you know when I'm sprinting because there will be multiple rounds of sprints. I usually sprint for at least three or four hours. Sometimes I've been known to sprint up to 10. So keep an eye on my channel for those because I will absolutely be sprinting throughout the month of September. And like I said, I'd love to have you join us if you'd like to work your way through one of your TBRs using the Phase Out Your TBR Readathon. That's going to be all for this video, though. All of my social media is linked in the description below if you'd like to come chat with me. If you've made it this far in the video, leave me train emojis. Like this video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!